welcome today guys I'm gonna share with you another recipe another fish recipe and this one is for tuna pies and with this recipe you can use any type of fish you like you can switch it up and use mackerel or salmon the one in the tin and also if you wanted to use this recipe to make aloo pies you can so here I have bread flour to this I'm adding some yeast salt sugar and Crisco just use your fingers and mix everything in. Next, you want to add enough lukewarm water to create a soft to medium dough. Once the dough comes together, you're going to continue kneading it for about five more minutes because you want that gluten to form and you want to have a nice smooth dough. If you need additional dry flour for this, you can use some. Next, you're going to cover the dough and you're going to place it in a warm place. I like placing it in my oven together with a cup of boiling hot water. So firstly, I'm going to start by putting up a pot to heat up on medium high heat. To that pot add in some oil when the oil is hot you're gonna add in some onions some pimento peppers or hot peppers or sweet peppers it's your choice some shredded carrots finely shredded chopped tomatoes and scallions Next, season with a little bit of salt and a pinch of black pepper. Now you want to mix this and you want to let this saute in here so that we can help develop some flavors with all of these veggies. After the veggies have sorted in here for a few minutes, you're going to add in the tuna. And I prefer using the tuna in the oil. I just drain out the oil. I find the taste is much nicer. But if you prefer, you can use the one in the water. Now you're going to mix this. Now you're going to allow this to cook on low heat for about 5 to 10 minutes. So guys... This is finished. You want to make sure that you don't have a lot of liquid in there because you don't want your dough to get soggy on the inside. So once the majority of liquid has dried out, you're going to taste this for salt. Okay, you're just going to set the tuna aside, let it cool down slightly. Okay, so when the dough has finished resting, you're going to break this dough into very, very small Bowls. And the reason why you want it very, very small is because we're going to steam these and we do not want the dough to be very thick. You want it to be nice, thin pies. So the bigger you break the dough, the thicker the pie is going to be. So if you want a thin pie, you have to break the dough pretty, pretty small. Next, you want to cover the dough balls with a damp paper towel. Okay, next, once your filling has cooled down, you're going to take one piece of dough at a time. Just lightly flour your surface and you're going to open this dough out. You can use your rolling pin if you like because you want to get a really pretty thin dough. And you can make these bigger if you want. Okay, once you've opened it out really thin, you're going to put about a tablespoon of filling on the inside. Now, if you wanted to and you wanted to make these round, you can roll out another piece and put it on top and squeeze the ends down. But I'm going to be making this in a crescent shape. So you want to bring the ends together like so. And you want to press that filling so it goes all the way. And that's one pie. 
So I'm going to fill the rest of the dough and I'll just set these aside until I'm finished and then we'll move on onto cooking these. Remember, as I said, if you wanted to make them bigger than this, you can. Okay, next, you can do these in parts. When you finish, make a couple. You can start cooking them while you fill the rest. So to a wide bottom pan, you can either brush it with some Crisco, some butter, or some oil. So just a little because you don't want the, um, the pies to stick when you put them in here. Now you're going to place the pies into the pot or the pan. And you're going to do this on medium low heat because remember we want this dough to take its time. We want it to cook. Cover it and allow that to steam in there or cook in there for about 2-3 to three minutes before you flip it. Okay, I'm going to go in and check these. I'm going to go ahead and flip them over. But before I do, I'm just going to brush the top side with some Crisco. Because if you don't, you're not going to get that nice crunchy exterior like you would if you fried these. You just give them a light coating, nothing much. And then you flip them over. And then you cover it again and you allow that side to cook. Okay, let's check on them again. Look how they are puffing up. Oh my goodness. Now you just want to go ahead and flip them again because you want to make sure that both sides have a beautiful color. So I would say one more time flipping these and then these would be finished. They feel so light and so airy. So just about two more minutes on the other side and then these will be finished. Okay, the first set of pies finished. I'm just going to take them out and place them on a plate. And I'm going to continue cooking the rest of them until I've made out all. So here you guys have it, my recipe for tuna pies. I hope you guys enjoyed this healthy version of what is usually a fried food. If you all wanted to fry this, you can. If you wanted to bake it, you can. I'm just gonna break into one so you all can see what it looks like on the inside and you all can see that it's cooked. That's why I made it really, really thin because you wanna make sure it's cooked all the way through and it is. It's so light and it's so airy. I really hope you guys enjoyed today's recipe. Make it and let me know down below if you like it. Make sure you have to let it cook long enough so that that dough cooks and you want to roll it all pretty thin. So if you want to make this, let me know down below if you like it. If you're new to my channel and you like what you see, I hope you subscribe. Thank you all for watching and I'll see you all another day with another one of my recipes. Enjoy!